beautiful but freezing morning here so just the perfect day to try and sort out this um, wing mirror we glued it on last time and I think it's falling off already so I think the only way to secure it without buying a new one uh, is to take off this trim and then bolt it on through here but to take off this trim as it's a 7 series you need to take off this uh, this whole door card it's not hard it's secured here and here sounds like the strut is kaput I think well, I've got this, well, I want to take this door card off, better get a door strut. Sorry my dear friends, I will not show you how to um, um, secure this wing mirror, because you have to take off the whole door panel for this. And uh, it's fine, it's not hard to do, but I think at the same time, I'm going to replace, um, well, I need to replace this door strut, because it doesn't hold the door in a position, so it'll chop your legs off. Go bang! Like that. Or even this can happen. Get out of the car. As we can see in example number one, Nico Bellic obviously not Russian. Didn't see Suka Blat even once. Welcome to Russian lessons with Boris. You see, friends, Russians speak very easy. As they say, once you learn the bad words of a language, then you'll know almost half of it. Well, in case of Russian, you know all of it. And now the challenge is to learn all those words. But friends, don't worry, that's what I'm here for. For beginners, I suggest go to fridge, get vodka, get wasted and then learn. Trust me, it's the best way. For you see, drinking vodka, it activates the Slovenian molecules in your brain. This way, you absorb language much better. So lesson number one, let's start with some words. Maybe something you would use every day. Suka, bilet. Now this phrase is your key to being accepted into CSGO community. And uh, uh, yeah, it just needs to be sorted really. So instead of wanking about, keep taking this door off and putting it door on and back and forwards. We're gonna just do it all at once. So I've ordered the pod. It's only about 20 quid of eBay for second hand one. So I'm gonna replace it in the next episode. Now I will show you how to kill three birds with one stone. Beard number one, the wing mirror. So boys and girls, I fucked about st sticking it, trying to stick some poles in there to hold it, but I think the best solution is uh, to use good old drill. So I've drilled the hole in there, and then there, and then one there, and then we'll do another one just there. Um, maybe do one more here and try and screw it in. So guys, we've drilled three holes here, three holes here. <laughs> so now let's try to screw this in. And then screw it in. I am sorry, but due to technical difficulties, I could not film how you take the um, door card off. Basically, you just use a uh, number 12 millimeter normal uh, socket um, to um, unscrew all the white bits and then it comes off. And then we get to um, this position where we want it to be, basically. You can now see the strut and we can now start taking it off. So to take this off, you need our favorite E12 to take off the door strut. I'm saying my favorite 
because I always lose it. So just to get it on there and take it off. I'm going to do it with two hands. I really need to get head cam. So now it's unscrewed. And just this logic here. Here we go. Off ski. Then just push it in and take it out. Dude, it'll be hard to take it out unless you take this condom off. So let's take it off first. Don't take it off here. Push it in and then take it off. It'll be a lot easier. Here's our lovely door strut. Uh, I'm a dick. I should have taken it off with this. Oh well, I'll know next time. So to put it back, it's better to do it from the inside because uh, the door doesn't open up wide enough uh, for you to um, put it in. It's too long. Yeah. It's probably the only time you had that problem when you can't put it in that it's too long. So enjoy it. But anyway, yeah, so this um, this little condom here needs to go basically through the hole there a fat 40 hex goes here to take this bad boy off we'll do everything properly on this show so first thing we're gonna do um, there used to be a gasket here rubber gasket so that there is no screeching or anything. This has lo long gone, so we're just gonna put some rubber on there so that so that it's all nice and tight and there is no possibility of squeaking. So I made this gasket here like this, just from a normal ch rubber tube. I'm gonna put it there and then that will go on top and the screw will go in bolt him in first bang this strut on used to so a new door strut is strut is installed. I've bolted it right on the bottom here, uh, on the um, on the left. That's where I think you get uh, the most kind of pressure because uh, this actually fa falls through this bolt. If you try uh, even with a washer, I don't know why they did that. There was a gasket there, but it got fucked very quickly. So. Uh, um, I didn't bother unscrewing this, uh, I've just uh, gave it a knock with a hammer to put it on and that's it then, hopefully the wife will be happy, I can already feel the difference, it's a lot tighter baby, <laughs> anyway let's put this inner door card back on and now, beard number three, door lock is being a knob, now we're gonna try and solve this problem of falling out um, door closing button or whatever it's called so I've got some garden wire wrapped it around this and then see if we can secure it I've also put just a tiny drop of super glue, ge glue gel use gel because um, it stays in one place better it won't run all over your car and won't go into locks and stuff it'll be a fuck up also secure this bit while it's all drying and stuff well anyway you don't want it flapping around and breaking off again so wait for it to dry a bit i think it's going to be decent actually there were four beards last but not least 
Zemira. So the reason it comes in two pieces, guys, is because it's best to first stick this on and then stick your mirror on. Sure, it's all like flux. All fitted on, and now you can stick the mirror on. So don't forget to um, hook up your heating wires, these ones. And yeah, that's the adhesive bit, and just stick it on. When putting the door card back, make sure that you line up these holes. And tip my friends, if you can't get this annoying screw to stay on, put it on some adhesive tape. And that means all your clips will line up as well. So top, you just push in. And then every clip, just see where it is, line it up and kind of bang it in. So that's it. Job done for today. Hey, yo, dude, someone wants to buy um, uh, the interior for the uh, E36 convertible. And we luckily have one over there in a black one. So let's go and remove it, geez. All right, let's get in there, baby. Let's get in there. Oh. That's that. Ah, bizdets. This means fuck. Just as many other words in this language do. So this is what's gonna happen to your interior if you leave the car open and wet for a while. Fucking disgusting. Water everywhere here. Not good, not good. So, um, we only just need to unscrew the seats here and here. Don't need to unscrew anything here. It just unclips. We're fucking freezing today. It could be much worse. Actually, my seats, I prefer these seats. They are more like bolstered. So uh, once they're sprayed, resprayed, they don't even need respraying. They're very good condition, actually. So I'm gonna keep these seats. I'm just gonna swap, uh, swap the headrests. And that's it. Hey, what's happening, homies? Another lovely the day here on the south coast and we're getting busy baby we are basically sorting out all the uh, old crap from the loft got these old um, e34 sports seats premium quality leather they don't, they don't make leather like this anymore definitely don't make stuff like this anymore I mean look at that that has come straight from the cow or bulls balls or something now all you get is plastic shit, maybe mixed with some uh, Jew foreskin. That's all you're getting these days. But this is premium quality leather, and it's all gonna get painted this week. And we're gonna stick it into our lovely E34. Uh, these seats are from the E36 convertible that we're selling, so keep you posted on that. And all this, all this stuff. It's charity, baby. That's right. We love doing a bit of charity. Uh, we um, sent clothes, toys, etc. to um, disadvantaged poor kids in uh, in the Ukraine. Uh, yeah, been doing it for a couple of years now. So, guys, if you want to help, um, you know, we'll be uh, very, very grateful if you help. Uh, especially now, because these uh, American cocksuckers stuck their big long jew fucking nose into uh, my country and now um i can't even uh, say uh, ukraine without <coughs> gagging because it's full of nazi cunts all all because of the uh good old us of a so us of a ain't gonna help my country so uh, i need to so that's why i've got all these toys uh nice warm clothes so um 
to kill two birds at the same time. I'm gonna take these seeds to the painting guy and take this stuff to my uh, lovely courier so he can take it to the uh, poor kitties. Peace out. So, all this old shit needs to come out and we're gonna put those leather seats in but first they're gonna get sprayed black um, so I've been driving around like this for over a year well not driving for a year actually except when it was just standing here doing fuck all so I'm um, gonna replace them with these it's raining it's dark but we're always working, baby, like I always say. And right now we're gonna remove these wheels. Oh, wheels, what am I talking about? These uh, seats. <laughs> Look at all these kids' shit everywhere. By the way, if you have kids in the car, that is what's gonna happen. You're gonna have shit everywhere. First things first, you need to take out your old seats. Um, when you're taking the seats for spraying, because there's no no need to be taking your old seats plus your new seats taking up space in the car so let's get everything out uh, when you're lifting the seats you might find quite a lot of interesting stuff like this watch for example not bad so you need to have a little rummage maybe you'll find some Rolex or some gold coins or maybe some dried up tampax or something. Have a look, geez. But these. And these. And these. Most of these microscopic roommates are harmless. Just freeloaders, basically. Might be quite tight, so use two hands. Hey, dudes. As you probably live in UK as well. You know it's always pissing it down. So luckily, oh shit, I need to fucking turn all the wires off. Oh fuck. Oh, anyway, yeah, try not to rip any wires out and shit. Well, oh, anyway, um, get your E18 uh, that we couldn't find. Luckily, I found it, and just unscrew them. And then DK's new ride. Nearly got bashed up by some bumper clubs not knowing how what to park. What the fuck is that cunt doing parking there, man? He's never gonna fit. He already fucking smashed the fuck out of his door. Uh oh, he's gonna hit Dookie Dookie's car. He's gonna hit the bikes. Yep. He's hit the bikes. Oh. No chance, mate. Okay, no, I think he's made it, mate. He's made it. Damn. Very nice parking lady. Nope, she doesn't want to pay for that shit. Oh my god, five, five times. Oh, she, she fucked up your car? No. Oh god damn, is she a chinky bitch? <laughs> you should have videoed video that before she uh, no. drove out either with a better because she was taking about three, four times. No, but I know he's my god, 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 I know he's my god. Learn how to park, you bumper clubs. Podgon Productions. Thank you.
yeah and of course if you want to be a G please subscribe to triple B I no 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 it's I